All right, guys, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to make a video today. Uh, we're going to be talking about, again, I'm going to talk about a particular situation that involves these leads, and it's my going to be my fluke leads, and we were doing some diagnosing, and we got some uh, bad results, and so I decided to do what I always do. It's I use a different meter with a whole different set of leads, and I got a different result. So I went back to the fluke, and the, this this meters these leads were on there, and as you can tell, uh oh yeah. So <clears throat> you know I, I have I tell you guys I have two meters and I have the O scope. So I put the O scope and the O scope and the other meter uh, verified that the component was correct. I had an issue with something going on with my fluke setup. So my Fluke 88 was okay. Uh, what turns out is I had a bad a test lead. And what happened is these are silicone. I love these. These are like, <laughs> can't, you know, they're pretty good. But <clears throat> unfortunately, the truth to the matter is this will be like my fourth set of test leads that get damaged. So um, actually on close inspection, I found that this, this, this right here had an, an indentation. So I... Uh, I cut a section out, I butt connected it, and it worked. But the takeaway is this is junk. These are junk. They're junk. Don't, 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 don't do, don't. I just did that just to see if, I, if that was the problem, and it was. But my ohm's resistance with the butt connector was uh, about four or five leads higher. So, I mean, four or five ohms higher than normal. But <clears throat> I do have. Like I said, you know, I always carry, you know, I carry scare, spare test leads. I have these. These are the, the stackable ones. I highly recommend them. And, of course, you know, I got my kit. But one thing I do want to talk about today is uh, Fluke. I've never bought these before, but I'm going to give them a go just because I have been going through quite a bit of few leads. I think there's people that have had leads on their meters for years. I'm talking 10 years, 12 years and they never replace them so you know it is what it is but these is a tl27 fluke they're heavy duty leads they're a little bit more rigid we're going to give them a go so i wanted to show them to you guys again fluke part number tl27 heavy duty leads um and um, interesting enough i went to the electronic store that's here in town and they were cheaper than buying them through amazon and uh you know, that's one thing you want to do, folks. If, if I know everybody gets hung up on, you know, the cheapest price. Uh, Amazon, if you live in a rural area, you know, they're great. If you live in a, in a metropolitan area or if you live close to a metropolitan area and you're in town anyway, you know, support the local business. You know what I mean? I mean, that's, a, that's a people you're helping and they've got families, and, and you know that's how they make their living. So anyway, I went by the local electronic store. They had them in stock. TL27. They're an authorized fluke dealer, and um, I don't know if you can see, but they look like they're gold plated. And these really go on snug on the meter, and they go really snug on on the um, on the the leads, whatever you put on them. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm really impressed with them so far. I'll update down the road, but. Unfortunately, this is the way they come. I kind of asked, I said, hey, they don't, they don't uh, uh, have them in red and black. And he goes, nope, that's just the way they're made. But honestly, uh, you know, I, I, can, I cannot tell you how many times I've had, I have had people put the red lead on the black on the meter and put the, the black on the red. And they're, they're doing measurements and... You know, they're confused. They're totally confused. You know, uh, I did a I did a, a video about a harness. And uh, what was funny was the guy that was diagnosing the trailer before me actually made that mistake. He crossed his leads. And uh, he didn't realize it. And uh, it was kind of weird. But it happens. I know I've done it. You know, so I guess this way I always make sure, hey, the red and the red. Because once it's in, you know, you can't tell who's who. You know what I mean? But anyway, it's it's a good thing, I guess. I don't know. I'll see if I like that. But the only thing I it's the only thing that's kind of. But they're really stiff, you know. They're not like the silicone ones. These are really pliable, the junk ones. But anyway, TL27 heavy duty fluke leads. Um, we're gonna give them a run. 
see how it goes. Thanks for watching.